Hundreds of union workers marching down Center City today. Members of the Service Employees International Union demanding a fair contract amid a proposal to drastically reduce hours. Members fearing pay loss and less job security and joining their cause today is Philadelphia Democratic mayoral candidate Sherelle Parker. And Jeff, you heard from both Parker and her opponent, Republican mayoral candidate David O, fighting to win over voters in this union city. Yeah, they certainly are. We spoke to David O. We spoke to Sherelle Parker. Look, these are office cleaning workers, and they're concerned, of course, as you said, about loss of play, pay and loss of work hours. They did rally in Center City today. This, you could say, is probably a test case for contract talks post-pandemic. The march kicked off at 18th and JFK Boulevard as unionized office cleaners and building mechanics filled the streets and shouted words of protest. Stopping at 18th and Arch at the base of a Comcast tower, one of many city buildings they clean, they say they're working harder than ever. We are at a foundation. You can walk in the building and the tenants coming in the morning. We empty trash, we vacuum, we dust, we sanitize restrooms. We keep all that clean. But with the growth of remote work leaving office towers with few Fewer tenants, the union says building owners are pressing for cuts in work hours and pay, meaning less job security. Fighting protect their pay, fighting protect their hours, fighting to get rewarded for being the essential workers that worked all through the pandemic. Union leadership says 2,000 Philadelphia office cleaners are in talks for a new contract, joining 70,000 workers up and down the East Coast whose contracts expire by the end of the year. In a statement, Daniel Brighter, the president of Building Operators Labor Relations representing building owners, writes they remain committed to working in good faith throughout the negotiations to achieve an agreement that is acceptable to both parties. The union showed its muscle, loudly clogging streets and drawing Democratic politicians, including candidate for mayor, Sherelle Parker. We need to make sure that fiscal stability is our number one priority, but it is not an either or. We can support a municipal workforce, this private sector, service industry. Parker's Republican opponent says a safe city is vital for all workers. Fight crime, stop crime, clean up the city, and make sure people are safe. And of course, things like people having shootouts uh, in, at the Independence Mall, that, that's not a good message. The union sees the Philly contract as a test case, a battle to grind out a good deal in a tough environment with talks in other cities looming. So the so there certainly seems like a fundamental change going on in the office tower business in cities across this country, certainly impacting, it appears, these contract talks. The representative for the operators of the building says that they certainly uh, respect the collective bargaining process and will talk in good faith. In Southwest Philly, Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Jason. All right, Jeff, thank you very much.